Hey, bonjour YouTube. Would you like to achieve more, have better health, have more meaning relationship, or bring more joy in your life? Sounds too good to be true? Keep watching. Hey, I'm Hugo and I help busy entrepreneurs and managers be more productive and be back in control of their own time. And once again, we are with Dr. Chelly. Hi, I'm Dr. Chelly. I'm a behavioral and wellness coach and I'm also a psychotherapist under supervision. And what I do is I help people get unstuck and uh, take committed action towards their life altering goals. So what are we going to talk about today, Dr. Chelly? Today we're going to talk about gratitude and how it can help improve your well-being and in turn can also help you be more productive. If that sounds good, then we have a lot more content like this bringing Dr. Shelley talk about psychology and productivity. So subscribe to this channel and don't forget to ring the bell in order to be notified every single week with new content. Your focus and productivity may be impacted when you don't feel so good both physically and mentally. And life can be challenging. Sometimes we experience grief and loss in our lives. We have relationship difficulties. We have uh, problems with our kids, financial struggles. We get a new diagnosis or we're a caregiver or many other life circumstances. Yes, when you experience difficulties in life, it can make it challenging to identify what you can be grateful for and uh, it may affect your productivity at the end. Did you know that expressing your gratitude can actually improve your productivity and your well-being? So gratitude is defined as the quality or feeling of being thankful and it's also a readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. And there are some researchers, there's a research study by Wood, Bro, and Garati in 2010 that suggests that gratitude is an orientation to life. And this is where we notice and we appreciate the positivity in the world. Research also documents the positive effects of gratitude and its impact on our emotional and physical well-being. Gratitude can improve our mood, it can improve our physical and mental health. And in addition, when we express gratitude, it can lead us to have better relationships with others, such as our loved ones, our clients, our colleagues, and our peers. For those that may struggle with symptoms of anxiety and depression, gratitude is a great way to practice breaking that cycle of automatic negative thinking, and it can help promote positivity in your life. So when you say breaking that cycle is that reversing that momentum from a vicious cycle to a more positive cycle. Yeah, so we can reverse it or we can just kind of stop it. So if I'm having an automatic negative thought that just comes super quick because that's how our automatic thoughts come, both mm -hmm. positive and negative, um, I can intercept that process with a thought of gratitude. And then I can start um, reframing my thoughts is what we call it, so cognitive reframing into something more positive. So for example, you and I could experience the same exact event mm -hmm. and um, you can experience it as a, as a very, very negative thought process like, yeah. oh, why did this happen to me? You know, this is terrible. Um, and I could experience the same event and to say, wow, that was a really powerful event. What can I get out of this? Wow, I'm grateful that that happened because now it helps me um, be more mindful of you know how I how I interact in life. Yeah, everything is about perspective. Yeah, and yeah. as a lot of people say, and I completely agree with, like you cannot control what happens to you, the events that happen to you, but you can control your reaction to it. Mm -hmm. So everything is about perspective. Yeah, I can choose how I want to respond to something. Um, maybe I'm not prepared in the immediacy of it because there are things that happen that can be traumatic, and mm -hmm. so we we go into our, into our automatic response, fight, flight, or freeze. Um, but then I can choose, once I have time to process it, I can choose how I want to respond to that. And when the quality of your life and your well-being improve, it makes you more motivated and also more productive at work or in other areas of your life. So the key here is to make a daily habit of expressing gratitude. And so what is it gratitude practice look like, Dr. Chelly? Sure, so it can look in different ways. Um, so there are different tools that you can use. There's a lot of journals, like gratitude journals out there. 
that you can buy. You can get a notepad, a simple notebook, or even download some worksheets. And what you can do is write down what you are grateful for, and you can create a list if you'd like. And you can do this in the morning when you first wake up, or you can do it right before you go to sleep. The key here is to try to integrate it into your morning or nighttime routine, just like brushing your teeth. And you can actually go ahead and watch the how to create new habits video. It's gonna be on that corner right here, be careful. And it describes how you can actually add new habits to your current daily habits. So at work, for example, you can practice expressing gratitude. For example, when you are entering the building, you can tell yourself, I'm grateful for, um, I don't know, engaging in a work, in a meaningful work that allows me to provide for my family and to uh, pay for my needs. And you can also practice thanking colleagues for things that they help you out with. You're welcome. So if you want to try something more fun, you can try a gratitude jar or a shadow box. You can use a large mason jar or go to your local craft shop and look for a shadow box. And a shadow box is just basically um, like a wooden box with a glass in the front. And you can find one that has a little hole on top, kind of like a piggy bank. And basically what you do is you cut out these pieces of paper. Um, they're blank papers, uh, or you can have them in a pre-written form. And what you do is um, you just write what you're grateful for, and then you fold the piece of paper and you drop it into the jar or the shadow box. And you can watch it fill. Um, and sometimes if you need a little reminder uh, maybe life has thrown a lot of things at you. What you can do is you can go into your jar or your shadow box and just kind of pull them out. And I think you did a video on this too, right? Yes, I did a video about the memento box. Mm -hmm. uh, that's something that I do with my wife on a weekly basis where we just write on a sticky note. It's a very pragmatic way. It's a mm -hmm. shoe box and yeah. sticky notes. So I don't yeah. have to actually go it to the craft It doesn't store. have to be fancy, yeah. right? So it just... I, I like I like cutesy things, so that works for me. <laughs> so on a weekly basis, we actually add, uh, we write on a sticky note something that we appreciate about our week. Mm -hmm. uh, so on, we do it on a weekly basis, not necessarily on a daily basis. But what I like about your suggestion is that you can see, you can visualize your uh, the, um, the the pot. Mm -hmm. uh, can you say pot? Yeah, the pot or the, the jar, yeah. or it could be a cup, whatever, a container. You just need a container. So here are some sample prompts. Uh, something I accomplished today. Mm -hmm. Three friends or colleagues that I appreciate. And something that made me smile today. Like recording this video. Thanks everyone. I hope this was helpful. We hope this yes. was helpful and uh, we hope you will start or continue expressing and cultivating gratitude for better health and productivity so dr jelly where can people find you sure so i am on social media so facebook and instagram uh, with the handle ganas and go and you can also find me at ganasandgo.com don't forget to subscribe to the time flies channel and see you next week thank you merci au revoir Gracias y hasta pronto.